Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 70 at chapter 9. In this chapter, we talk about linear momentum. In this one, we need to determine the center of mass for this object. Now you can see we can cut this uh, uh, object at the z direction by a lot of disks with the thickness dz, right? And the surface is just a square. And now when we look at it, we can find the central mass for x component and the y component is zero because the symmetry. And then look at the z component, we find that we can do the inter do the center of mass loss that is the integral z dm divided by capital M. Now how can we find the dm? So dm is the mass for these disks. So first one we have the density times the rho square is the areas for this square times the thickness dz, uh, we have two variables, r or l and z. How can you do that? We can find the relationship between them, this one. You can see, when the h equal, when the z equal to h, z equal to h, it is uh, at this point, so l is zero, no problems. When the z equal to zero, the z becomes the h, right? When the z equal to the h, the l is zero. When the z equal to zero, the l is just the s. Now we input this l inside. We can just do solve this equation. So in this equation, we input all the l inside. We input the dm inside. And then we simplify it, we get the final answer is h divided by 4. By 0, it asks you to find the center of mass invariable with all lengths of s. So now can you find the relationship between h and s? Sure, because we can see this is h, this is s, and this is 45 degrees. So of course, h equal to s divided by square 2. Thank you.